actually crazy how much changes in a year. A year ago, this for lunch would have been like an actual bush tucker trial to me. And now, this is my lunch of choice with all the Christmas food in the house. This is what I've chosen to have for my lunch. I ordered these mason jars. They have pint sized mason jars. Just, oh, it's pretty dark. Yeah, pint sized mason jars to have on my desk while I'm working and metal straws because I want to drink more water. So I thought I would just introduce the new series of vlogs. So I don't know if any of you will follow me back like a year ago. But I tried to do a few vlogs which were like documenting my life after cancer. Didn't really go to plan because life after cancer is bloody hard and I don't think I really realised what it was going to be like and I basically have been quite private on here for the last like year or so. I've been on here, I've been active but just showing stuff like what I've bought is all I've really been doing because that's what I love doing but I wanted to start like a new series of vlogs which is what I'm doing now um, because I feel like I'm in like a really pivotal moment of my life and I feel like something's about to happen but I don't know what. Right now what's the date? It's the, it's the 27th of December and I basically feel like 2020 is this huge blank canvas in front of me that I don't know what I want to do with. Like. I feel like I'm faced with these huge questions like who am I, what do I want to do, where do I want to be and yeah that is basically what I need to figure out. It's important to remember that like if I look back to a year ago all that was really important to me was to be healthy and I'm at that point now where I feel like I am healthy but I just feel really like so I've achieved that and now what? Do you know what I mean? And so like I was at uni, then in my third year of uni I was diagnosed with cancer. So I went from like, I was uni, that was my purpose. Then cancer, that was like, took up my whole entire life. Then I was better, well not like completely better, but like finished treatment, hadn't, I didn't have cancer anymore. I still needed to recover from the chemo. Um, and then I just like got, got into this relationship and made that my whole entire life basically and now that relationship's over and I'm a bit like now what so I feel like people normally face this like who am I what am I doing thing when they first finish uni I have that I'm doing that like two years later after having been through a bit of a shitstorm so that is basically what I'm documenting. So yeah, these vlogs, I'm hopefully gonna just, well, I'm just gonna vlog my life. I'm just gonna document everything. I'm not just gonna be like trying to discover who I am all the time. I'm just, that is what I'm doing in my whole life at the moment. And I feel like that's a really kind of interesting thing for people to watch. It's helpful for me to document it because it's like I'm speaking how I feel. It's like a therapy session to be honest. And then, I also feel like there's probably quite a lot of people watching me who are in a similar situation because it's around like this age in your life, like in your 20s, that you're a bit like, who am I, what am I doing? First thing that I'm trying to figure out is how do I like to feel? Because I don't know what I want to do. Obviously my full-time job is blogging at the moment, but like, I don't know what I want to do. So I need to figure out how I like to feel and what in life makes me feel good. And then I can figure out how I want to spend my time. Does that make sense? So at the moment I know that I feel good when I... Hmm. See this is what I'm figuring out. I know, I've, I, know I feel good when I look after myself and that's what I'm trying to do at the moment is like make myself a main priority. So eating healthy, exercising, spending time figuring out my own thoughts and not like blocking everything out. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. 
and I'm just going to take you along this journey with me because I feel like yeah it's a it's a pivotal moment in my life that I want to be open with and document it so yeah I'm not going to be just it's going to be a normal vlog okay I'm going to be still do showing like my everyday life what I get up to probably not every single day but um so yeah today is like two days after Christmas and I feel like it's in it's this horrible like well some people probably like it but I don't it's this like okay the excitement's over and now we're like waiting it's like ready set go new year do you know what I mean so I've decided that I'm not gonna be doing that I'm just going I'm just doing it now because I don't want to lose the motivation that I've got in these next few days I'm gonna try and chill but I'm really really bad at chilling like really bad so um, yeah but I'm gonna go and watch the new series of you I'm gonna go to the gym and that's about it I'll show you my Christmas presents in a minute as well actually I didn't really get anything like major but I got loads of really nice cute little bits one of them is this dressing gown and it's like the best thing ever I wanted a dark color dressing gown because my um I had like a light gray one and it just constantly had makeup around the edges of it and fake tan and everything so I feel like this one's gonna basically just disguise how filthy it actually is okay it's literally been about four hours since I last spoke to you and I said I was gonna go to the gym then but I've only just got around to going but oh well procrastination at its finest I just wanted to show you my new gym gear so this set is from um ASOS own gym brand and I just love it like the waistband properly sucks you in and it makes you feel like a really nice shape um I got the matching bra top thing I like about this is that it like it kind of almost well not really but almost meets the um leggings so it doesn't have like too much of your tummy out so if I was to wear no top it wouldn't look too weird um but i've got this like sheer vest on which is also from asos i got this in a size 12 and then i've basically just tucked in the back of it there so that you can like still see my waist because i'd like that and yeah that is my outfit my trainers that i'm wearing are just like these nike fly knit ones but i'm really after some new gym trainers because basically when I run in these trainers, I get really bad um, shin splints because I just don't think there's enough support in them. So um, I am on the hunt for some new trainers. Maybe I'll get some in this vlog and show you what I get. Before I do go to the gym, dear God, I look awful. Um, I just wanted to talk about my PT quickly. So I've been going to see my PT for like a year now. Um, and I have been going to see her pretty much twice a week for like a year. And I just love her, like she's amazing. She's made me love exercise so much because she's made it exercise more about like working out your mental health rather than working out to lose fat or to burn calories or to gain muscle. Obviously I'm doing all of that in the process but eliminating that mindset has made me like exercise so much more because I think when you do exercise you don't see a difference straight away and that can be really demotivating but what you do notice is that you walk out in such a better mood so when I work out god why the hell am I so out of breath <laughs> when I work out in my mind I think I'm doing this to put myself into a better mood to make myself more motivated for the rest of the day and just yeah just to make me a generally happier healthier person and that mindset has literally changed everything t for me um so yeah my PT is by Louisa on Instagram. I will link her thing down below so that if you wanted to go and check her out, then you can and you should, by the way. If you live in the same area as me, then you should definitely check out Louisa. Mummy made you a nice bed. Look, I bought this thing. Um, it's like a hammock thing that's kind of straps onto the radiator so it's all warm and then I've just put this fluffy cushion on there. Is anyone else obsessed with making like a cosy place for their pets? He'll never stay on there but I just put him on there occasionally and say, do you like it? I don't think he does. <laughs> do you? Not really mummy. 
I want to get off, mummy. Mm. Hello, hello. So it's now a different day. I can't remember when I spoke to you. I think it was on Friday and it's now Sunday. So, um, yeah, I thought I would come on here and show you a random haul of like stuff that I got for Christmas and some bits that I picked up in the sales. Come here. Come say hi to the camera. And I'm sat here with Milo. Meow. I went out last night and um, miraculously I'm not hungover, which is really nice. So I've just had a shower and that's why I've got wet hair. Um, anyway, let's get into it. So I got these books. I got a few other books as well, but um, they're all they're random ones. So I'll show you these. Um, this is called Think and Grow Rich. I have had so many people talking about this and so I really wanted to give it a go. Um, it's this really nice like hardback version which I'm quite happy with. And then I also got The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I'll link the books down below and um, I'll also let you know what I thought of them and if they're worth reading. Anyway, then I got two notebooks. I am a sucker for a notebook. I write everything in notebooks. So um, I think they're from, this one's from Fringe. Oh, they're both Fringe. Okay. Um, this one says, in the middle of building my empire. And this one says, every morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most, which is cute. And it's like, um, this one's like leather and it's really pretty. Um, yeah, I literally write everything down, every thought I have, every idea, every single day I have a to-do list. If I don't complete my to-do list, I don't really feel very accomplished, so yeah. Um, I got a candle. This is um, Stone Glow. I really love the Stone Glow candles. I think my mum probably got this in TK Maxx as well, but it just smells really fresh. So Another thing which I'm very excited by is this machine. Basically, it's a chopper-upper. I went to a cooking course with my mum and we chopped everything up in these machines and we were like, this is such a game changer. So this is Mr. Chef. Basically, you just put anything in there and then push down the button and it ch chopped it up and it's amazing. Um, I'll definitely show you that in action when I um, cook something. Um, I got this, which is one of those fabric shavers to get off those annoying bubbles. Just got like little bits that I'm really happy with. Um, and then I recently went into Space MK and bought myself this. So I always see Lydia Millen using this um, by Terry C Brightening CC Serum. And I'm always wanting to use it. So I got myself this kit. This has got like a mini version and a big version and it was 33 pounds when this normally like 60 70 quid for just that one and i got two for 33 pounds oh my way you can fit through there right you fit through the door like a tiny gap in the door he was trying to get through so wait i'll show you this it's like you put it under your foundation and it just makes you look really glowy and brown it's just make, basically just puts a bit of health onto your face. It's a really gorgeous glow. And yeah, if you look at the difference between my hands, there. It's really nice. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. And I think it's online on the Space NK sale as well. So if you're wanting one of them, you can probably go pick that up for the same price. I also ordered this. GHD hairbrush My brother playing music um, Yeah, I ordered this GHD hairbrush because I thought it'd be good for styling my hair with But I don't really understand how to use it and I was getting myself in such a tangle So I've not really used it and um, I don't really know if that was like the right brush for my hair I ordered these Tamlux um, face drops to try as well. They're the Hyaluronic Super Glow Self Tan Face Drops. I love Hyaluronic soap and I love fake tan, so I thought I would give them a go. Um, like everything, I will let you know what I think of. Um, so, I've been using the CeraVe 
um, cleanser for quite a while and it's definitely my favourite. So I thought I would try this. Um, so this is for dry, rough, bumpy skin. The reason I got it is because I want my chest to be a bit smoother. So I thought that, because I get like little, not, not, not like spots, just like it's not really, really smooth. So I thought this would help. Um, it exfoliates, softens and smooth rough, rough skin because um, it's got salicylic acid in, but I'm not sure whether that's just going to take my fake tan off. Not sure. I'll let you know. Um, that's for your face and your body, by the way. Oh yeah, another great thing I got for Christmas is this towel. Um, it's from the White Company, and basically it's like elasticated around the top, so you can strap it around yourself when you get out of the shower and just have it around you while like you're walking around getting ready and everything, and it was just really handy, and I really enjoy that. It's got a pocket as well, um, and yeah, that's really nice. Um, Oh, I got this mug, which I really love. O is the worst initial ever for, um, like, buying stuff with your initial on, because it's just a circle. But this is from Debenhams. Oh, this is, um, just lemon and hot water, but I think I've put too much lemon in. Anyway, moving on. So, I received this package from... I think I'm going to turn the camera around actually and show you properly. Bear with. You coming in? So I got this from Leo, um, what is their brand? Leo, leoyoga.com and it's a new um, activewear brand but it's really really lovely stuff so I will show you. It just feels really like high end. Um, so it's wrapped in a bit of tissue paper. And then this is the set. I will try it on and show you, but it's got their little branding on the back, and that is in mesh, which is really nice. So yeah, that is that's the top, and it's got a little gap there, which is nice. The leggings, the leggings fit really, really nice. So I'm a size 10, and I went for a medium in the leggings, um, which does fit me. And then, so they're like a really thick sturdy band around the top which is something that I really look for in gym leggings. Milo, please hun, get out. Oh, he loves a box. Does anyone else's cat just want, want to get in any box they can? Um, please don't snag the leggings. They've got like mesh stripes in a few places, like I think there's some around the ankle and then a bit higher up around the knee, but yeah, they're really nice stuff. Um, and I got the grey one. They also have pink and a few other colours. I'll link their website down below. Um, honey, please. He's so cute though. I'm starting to think he looks like me. Like in the face. I don't know though. It's a bit weird to say, I guess, that a cat looks like me. But they do say pets look like their owners. Ow! Hello, good morning. Um, I've not vlogged in a few days. It's just been that time of year where... I've not really done anything so I thought it was a bit boring to vlog but today I'm off to Oxford um, with my friend Nadia. We're gonna go um, and go for lunch, take a few outfit photos and stuff for the gram. Um, so I thought I would take you guys along with me um, and I'm about to get ready so I thought I'd vlog that as well. This is the towel that I got from the White Company by the way. Isn't it just fab? It does up around here like with buttons and then you've just got this on you while you get ready. Which is just ideal to be honest. I've already done my skincare. Um, so I've cleansed with my CeraVe cleanser. I've used this hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary and then this um, Pixi moisturiser which is called Phenomenal Gel that is literally the only skincare I use otherwise I get spots um, I've just had my eyelash extensions okay I've not had my eyelash extensions taken off I pulled them off so I've got minimal eyelashes so I'm using this Rapid Lash um, Eyelash Growth Serum Try and Revive the lashes that I've pulled out. So I've applied that. You're supposed to apply that morning and night. Um, I don't know if it's good or not, but the reviews say that it's good, so we'll go with that. Um, 
makeup. I've got no tan on. I literally just had a bath and scrubbed. So I'm feeling a bit pale. Um, I need to wear pale makeup to match that situation. So I'm going to use um, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter underneath my foundation. And then I'm going to use the Luminous Silk um, Armani Foundation. So I've got that in shade 4, which is medium, and I've also got that in shade 4. This is not damp. I'm just going to... Okay, that's my makeup done. I... I'm gonna now do my hair. Um, I think I'm gonna do it as like a fringe um, situation today. I won't record it. Um, so obviously I've just washed my hair. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in my hair. I don't normally, but it's feeling quite dry at the minute. Um, just gonna make sure I only get it in the ends though. And then I'll dry it and then I shall show you. If you're wondering how I dry my hair, I've recorded it quite a few times for my Instagram TV. So you could go check that out. Oh god, very close to a nip slip there. So I've just blow dried my hair. Um and I basically dried it into like bangs. I'm not gonna leave it like this because I look like an absolute joke, but I just wanted to show you how close I am to having a bob. I just need like these top layers to grow down um, and then I'll have a little bob but yeah I'm just going to style it now then I'll show you. This is the most random thing but um, these vest tops, um, they're like ribbed white vest tops from H&M are the best thing ever. I don't know why I just love them, I love like the shape of them um, and they're like £3. Um, so I've got like five and I wear them literally every day, um, but yeah, just thought I would let you know about the vest tops to be honest. And then I'm just about to put this jumper on, which is from Topshop. So this is the jumper, um, I'm not sure whether it's current to be honest, so it might have gone into the sale, um, if it didn't I will link it. And then these mum jeans are from Zara, they're literally my favourite jeans in the world, um, I will link everything down below, literally everything I've shown you in the video will be down below. So we've just arrived to Oxford and we're just going to shoot some pictures, it's not focused. We're just going to shoot some pictures quickly because it is a lovely day. It's freezing. So, I'm with Nads. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, and then we're going to head up to Victor's for lunch um, when we've got them done and then head home. for lunch which is this restaurant like right at the top of the Westgate shopping centre in Oxford um, and it's so nice in here so I'll show you the food when it arrives and we've also ordered a glass of wine I'm supposed to be doing dry January but it's the third and I drank wine yesterday so I've had one day off out three <laughs> and I was hungover so but this one's just as bad yeah we're bad in <laughs> <laughs> Me? Uh, yeah, we influence each other because last night you yeah. weren't going to drink, then I sent you a picture of my wine. Then I drank. Oops. <laughs> I can't find you because I'm looking through the viewfinder. <laughs> you got to drink it. So we've got the chili squid. That looks so good. Yeah, it does look really good. Lobster rolls. They also look really good. And then we've got way more to come. 
forgot to vlog most of the food, so we did have salmon, <laughs> um, chicken skewers. I've actually, oh my god, that looks so bad on my plate. <laughs> we did have chicken skewers, um, broccoli, truffle fries, mayo, um, and it's all been so good. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. I'm home and just chilling in my dressing gown. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and edit the photos that I just took. Um, and then I think I'm gonna watch. Um, I really can't talk today. Watch the rest of you because I've only watched like four episodes. Everyone's finished it. And I really want to move on to Don't Fuck with the Cats. Um, but I'm so bad at watching TV. Like so bad. I can't sit still and watch TV at all. But I'm so tired right now because I feel like I didn't go to sleep last night. Um, it took me so long to get to sleep. I don't know what time it was because I didn't like check the time. But um, when my alarm went off at six this morning, I was like, no, I've had half an hour sleep, you know, that feeling. So I didn't get up and go to the gym like I was gonna, but I let myself off. I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna chill, watch TV, and drink a cup of tea, and cuddle my cat. Who's there? Milo! Come here, come see mummy. Hi, um, so I was gonna make this vlog way longer, but then I just edited it, and it was already like 25 minutes long, so, um, I just thought I'd hop on here to sign the vlog off, basically. Um, I've just been to get my nails done. Oh my god, they look purple in this light, but they're not. They're called Earth Grey by the gel bottle, and it's actually a lush colour. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would come on here and sign off. Because I'm going to start a new vlog, because nobody wants to sit and watch me for any longer than like half an hour. Dear God. Um, sorry about the sound you can probably hear in the background. My brother is doing band practice, which is exactly what I want of an evening. Anyway, um, it would be really great if you could let me know down below in the comments what you want to see from me um, in these vlogs, um, if you want to see more of like my life crisis, if you want to see more like of me planning my life or more like out and about or at home, anything, um, maybe like what I do at the gym random stuff let me know what you'd be interested to see from me down below in the comments because that would help me out massively um but yeah i'm off thank you very much for watching